Like, for me, it's not a matter of debate. I don't debate it with anybody. Like, some people might have all, all, all other opinion. I've been there, I've done that, but I have found it. I have found the truth. Like, what we are conscious of, that is what we externalize. Uh, and that is the truth of our being. <laughs> this is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 7.49 p.m. on the 9th April 2018, documenting step number 36 out of the book Steps to Knowledge, baby. That's what we're fucking doing. Okay, let's leave the book here. And uh, let's get right into it, baby. Let's not waste any time, baby, because you got shit to do. I don't want to waste your time. Anyway, the step is called My life is a mystery to explore. Explore. My life is a mystery to explore. It's a two 15 minutes practices, practice periods. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, this is what I just wrote like uh, some a little bit ago, but let's see. Life is a mystery indeed. I am called into sharing the gospel, which gospel means good news. I have come into a awareness of, but for what reason? What reason? Sure, eventually we all come into a realization that we are one being who is not separate and who will hold the realizations and knowledge of every human being that ever was and ever will be. But for what reason? Is this whole being looking for the timeless question of who am I? Is this realization its purpose? Is it for experienced life? Fun? I may be or claiming myself to be at the point where I see not these answers, but I will, am, one with them. I am indeed sharing the truth of our being and this is the step I am taking now. I am taking now. Is it even wise to ask what the next step is until I am done with this one? I don't know, baby. Is it wise? Is it not wise? So many questions, baby. Yet so many answers as well. Life is a mystery. That's for sure. Uh, it's an unknown mystery when we are unconscious of even being alive like when when we are doing what society deems us to do like we don't even ask such basic questions i heard i uh, heard once that the bigger is the mystery the more we give it for granted like we already know it and I find that to be true. Like, I have been working. I have been a societal man doing stuff everybody does. And I wasn't asking these questions as much as I do now. But as I focused more on, on the deeper things, on, you know, just the questions that haunt our minds forever. It, it gets deeper, baby. It's a rabbit hole. You know, you get into it and it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Like, of course, I... Like, for me, it's not a matter of debate. I don't debate it with anybody. Like, some people might have all, all, all other opinion. I've been there, I've done that, but I have found it. I have found the truth. Like what we are conscious of, that is what we externalize. Uh, and that is the truth of our being. And I know that, I am aware of that and I live that. But 
For what purpose? I mean, I am called into sharing this truth that non, not that save, saves you from the illusion of the world in the sense that you can then live the life that you do want to live and you live it, you have fun, you have relationships, you have everything the way you want to have them. But for, for what reason? For what purpose? And I guess it's a never-ending mystery. Like Neville Goddard says that the all is unknown and cannot be known. It's ever infinite, ever expanding. And that's what we are doing. We are part of that expansion of this being. And this is the level where we are at. But I'm sure there, there are many more levels. I don't know for now. I, I, should I be even asking these questions? I don't know. Maybe I should just stick to what I have to do right now. Do it as good as possible. And then eventually when I get there, that will be the next thing to do. But yeah, step number 36, first step out of the week number six, makes me think, makes me think about it. It's, it's interesting. I don't mind it. I've always been on wondering about one thing or another until, yeah, about philosophy and life. I have found tr the truth of our being, the, girl, the pearl of great price, and um, I am one with it now. But that doesn't mean that the mystery ended. The mystery just keeps on going, baby. And maybe that's the aspect that makes us keep at it. That's maybe why we are here. I don't know. But it's interesting to think about, to wonder about, to be happy about. I mean, I'm happy if I would have known everything. I know a big part of it, which is that we are that which we... That which we consider ourselves to be in the physical world. And that's already a big thing. But there are deeper questions, and they need an answer. <laughs> Interesting. I will look for those. I will find those for sure. But as I found those, I'm sure there will be even more to ask. So ever, expand, ever expanding infinity, baby, I guess. So this has been step number 36. That's what I had to say. That was on my mind and that's what I've shared. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. And yeah. Watch some more. Don't. Your choice, baby, as always. This has been Ciprian G. Documenting step number 36 out of the book Steps to Knowledge. Thank you, baby. And Ciprian G is out. Bam.